What's going on, folks? Hidden Gem back again for another video. Today's uh, video is going to be my first uh, mail bin or mail video. Uh, I've seen a bunch of videos out there, like Elite Code 3, um, that does, you know, opens all his mail to see what uh, what he ordered, what he won on, on auction. So I figured, you know what, let me try that. That looks pretty cool. Uh, collect all the mail that I had to come in this week. And I wanted to show, share it with you guys, uh, with my fans. I wanted to share um, the uh, packages that I received. I want to open them together and uh, grow grow together. Uh, I love this community. I love the guys that that uh, we network that I've been networking with. And at the same time, I, I noticed that uh, after my last one of my last videos I did, I went from 20 subscribers up to 30. I'm up to 36 subscribers. So that's amazing. And I just don't want to forget anybody, you know, because this is all thanks to you guys. So I want to sh give a shout, special shout out to the following uh, supporters and YouTubers that uh, actually su subscribe to my channel. So I don't want to, the only ones I can see are the ones that are public, that are not private. So if I didn't mention you, it's because you're private and I can't see you. But I appreciate the, the support and I appreciate you subscribing to my channel. Uh, we're going to start off with Chris G613. Up in uh, Buffalo, New York, in that area. He's a Buffalo Bills fan. Um, he uh, PCs Josh Allen. He's real big on Josh Allen. Great. I've gotten to know him in a, in a short period of time, uh, say probably in the last week. And he's just an amazing person. Then I got uh, Jay Garcel 006. Uh, thank you for subscribing. And we have Kevin Garvey. Kevin Garvey, thank you for subscribing. Uh, we have Hugh, H O Triple U. Uh, I guess you go by Hugh. So thank you for subscribing. Then we got Joe Rod, Mr. Joe Rod here. Appreciate the support, sir. Uh, baseball collector. We got baseball collector. I gotta go check out his channel too. Uh, I gotta take spend some time and check out uh, some of these channels too, and uh, uh, return the favor. Then we got Victor Negron cards. He's a pretty cool channel. I've seen a couple of his videos already. Thank you, uh, Victor Negron cards, for your support. Uh, Tops A five four zero one, excuse me. Tops A five four zero one. I know he's a big hit, uh, and he's uh, he's well known in the community. And you know, it's just humbling that he uh, subscribed to my channel. So I really appreciate that. Tops A five four zero one. This is a pretty cool name right here. She blinded me with refractors. <laughs> that is that is uh, that is pretty cool. That's a cool name. That's very thoughtful. <laughs> She blinded me with refractors. Thank you for your support. And then we got Wild Cat seventy two cardboard uh, attic. Uh, that guy uh, saw a couple of his videos. He's got some vintage, uh, nice vintage cards and some some uh, oddball cards as well. Um, it's uh, it's pretty cool. I appreciate it, Mister Wild Cat seventy uh, two. I enjoy your videos. I'm gonna keep watching them. And then I got a, uh, the last I, person I got here is Lar P L A R P. Uh, thank you for subscribing. I see you're holding a bottle of wine or champagne there, so that's pretty cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, appreciate all the support. Wanted to give a shout out. Uh, let you guys know that you're not forgotten and that it's uh, highly, highly, highly appreciated. All right? So, let's get cracking here with the mail bin. I had opened one already because I thought it was just a regular envelope. But then I realized, uh-oh, this is uh, so something I probably want on eBay. Uh, I think this is from uh, uh, from Elite Code 3. If I'm not mistaken, this is from Elico 3. Here's the, the stamp. Uh, I just opened it. And, uh, yeah, it's a, it's the Elico 3. I, he's got Penny Auctions. Uh, he's got an eBay store with Penny Auctions and free shipping. That's amazing. So I think I got a couple cards here from him. Uh, let's see what we got here. Let's see what I ordered. I know some of them I remember. Some of them I don't. So I want some Penny Auctions. Here from uh, from Elico three, and uh, you know what it is? It's probably the, the sticky stuff. Oh yeah, there we go. Let's put that over here. <clears throat> um, this is just one card. This is just one card. Okay, uh, here's his business card. Elico three. Uh, a lot of you are familiar with him. Saw his last video. Guy looks like a real big guy. Looks like a football player. Looks like a thing. I think he played football, huh? Uh, Cardboard Futures. That's his card. Appreciate it. And uh, this is one of the things I won on his uh, thing. Uh, Alvin Kamara. Elite. It's also numbered. It's uh, number 
number 8008 of 299. Elite Alvin Camaro looks like it's a red uh, red refractor as you hold it to the light and it kind of uh, pops off. So it's, I really like this uh, this runner and I think he's going to be great in the NFL. Uh, I think he's going to have more chances now of running the ball because um, Mark Ingram is suspended for four four games. So there, there we go. We got Alvin Kamara. We'll put him there. Uh, this is from Mark Shapiro uh, in Brooklyn, New York. Let's see what we got here. Mark Shapiro. Okay, this was the uh, okay the invoice. All right, we don't need that. Oh, this is um, this is us. Okay, well, I can't, can't show this because this is for a care package uh, for some one of my uh, YouTubers. Uh, this will be going on in the care package, so I'm gonna have to put this to the side. All right, so that was that that one. Here's another one. Okay, Missouri. So that's uh, Lico, another Lico. We got another Lico package here. Let's see which one is this one. I think they stick it kind of like this. They stick it to the envelope. Yeah, I see. They actually stick it to the envelope. So it'll move around, I guess. So that was pretty cool. Uh, that's a good way. So it doesn't move around all over the envelope. Let me leave uh, the Lico, Lico card right here. Uh, it's another one from Elico. And it kind of gets hard with the with the gloves, I guess. I have to get a little bit more better prepared for this. There we go. All right, it's good packing. You know when you're you know you got good packing when you got to struggle to open it. <laughs> Another Elite Co. business card. That's pretty cool. Oh, this is what I got, folks. So Mike Piazza, classic best, 1992. As you know, I know I'm a Dodgers fan. So he's one of my players I loved uh, watching play. And uh, I didn't have this one in my PC. So I saw it on his penny auction store. And uh, I had to jump on it. So Mike Piazza, 1992, classic best. It's a great, great card. Great picture. Oh, wait a second. There's two cards in here. Um, oh, okay. I see. They tape them all. They put both cards inside. Okay, and they got the tape, so it's going to be kind of hard to take off the tape with uh, with the gloves. But I got Mike Piazza, and then I got Odell Beckham Jr. in there. So, um, well, they should have just sent, sent them separately, not together. Yeah, they sent them together in the same, same uh, thing. So, all right, not much we can do there. See what we got here. This is from uh, Fort Lauderdale, so it's not that far from my house, from my hometown. Jesus. <laughs> Let's see here. See if that works. You can tell I'm a rookie at this, huh? I don't open uh, mail too much. I guess they used like a, oh, okay. They used the manila, wrapped it up in a manila envelope. Let's see what we got in this one. Oh, yeah, this is my, uh, okay, okay. This is my second graded card for my collection. Uh, I don't have any cards slapped. All my cards are raw. So I, I saw this on an auction on eBay and I had to jump on it. It's a it's a 10 Gemin 10 from Beckett, BCCG, 2003-2004 Tops Dwayne Wade rookie card. Um, you know he's local here from Miami, one of the hometown heroes. So I saw the eBay auction. I had to jump on it and uh, I won the uh, won the auction. That's a sweet card. So this is officially my second slapped card in my PC. So I'll put them here. Put Mr. Wade there. I know the wifey's gonna like that card. All right, we're almost there. Let's see here. Oh, okay. I got this from uh, 
It's uh, Probstein123. I think everybody's familiar with them. I, I hear their name in a, a couple videos of the mail videos. So I decided to check out the, their score. And uh, let's see what we got here. Bubble wrapping. Probostein 123 is an approved ex expert seller, consignment center, and eBay collectibles. So that's pretty cool. And oh, yeah, we're going to have to hide this one. <laughs> this is a special card I saw that I needed, I wanted to get for one of my, uh, one of my fellow YouTubers uh, and supporters and uh, actually friend. Can actually call him a friend. Uh, we've been communicating back and forth. So this one's got to go out in the care package that I'll be sending out. So I can't show it, I can't reveal it. And I don't know what I don't know if I ordered something from Collectors Universe in uh, Newport Beach, California. So I don't know what this is. I don't remember ordering from these people, but let's see what's in here. Oh, okay, I see what this is. This is uh this is my membership I think I got for PSA. Yeah, that's what this is. Okay. Yeah, here's my membership I got for the PC. I got I became a silver member, so I can start uh, sending my uh, cards in and start getting some slab cards here for my PC. So always buying. Do you know where your collectibles are worth? We got a little flyer here for PSA. All right, that's pretty cool. Put it here to the side. Uh, Pokemon, okay, I guess this is a magazine they send you. Comic Con Collector's Edition. SMR Pokemon Rules. So, um, I guess I'll keep this in its little plastic and leave it there for, for who knows, somebody that's a big Pokemon collector. All right, so we got that. We'll put the magazine over here. And then I know this one is one that I've been waiting for. Uh, it's all the way from Washington. West Richland, Washington, Erica Richardson. So let's get a cracking at this box because I know there's a couple in here. There's a couple of um, good cards in here. Let's see if I can get this open real. All right. Okay, look. Ooh, that was an easy open. Man. Perfect. All right, let's see what we got in here, folks. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, yeah, you see? It's a nice thick package. Uh, won a couple of auctions there. They were pre pretty cool. They they only charged me one shipping fee, which was uh, that was pretty cool. Some people don't do that. So, wow, this is good packaging right here. Oh yeah, I got I got in a uh, a nineteen uh, eighty six tops. Tops, one of those uh, packs, uh, wax packs that they hang in, used to hang at the store. Man, you can tell this is old. This, it looks like it's still got Woolworth. You guys remember Woolworth? It looks like it's still got the price tag from Woolworth on it. So I, I got, I had to, I bid on it because it had the 1986 Tops Roger Clemens right on the top. And the car looks like it's in great shape. So let's see, let's see what we hit. Gotta be careful with this one. Let's see what cards we hit for 1986 tops here. We got Dick Williams, 1985 All-Star Dick Williams. Uh, what do we got here? Rob Wilfong. We got Spike Owen. Herm Winningham. Oh, I guess they flipped every card. Uh, Rich Thompson. Jesse Barfield. Jesse Barfield. Um, Don Carmen, Gary Pettis. Oh, Gary Pettis, wow. Oh, look at this, Lee Mazzilli. This is one of my co-workers' favorite players. Uh, he's uh, from New York. He's a New York Mets fan, and this was his favorite player, Lee Mazzilli. So I think I might just give him that, even though he's wearing a Pirates uniform on that one. Alvin Davis. Oh, Frank Viola. We got Frank Viola, Dave Bergman, uh, Shane, Ra Shane uh, Raleigh. And these cards are in great shape, centered, and that's pretty good shape. Uh, Ken Ob Oberkfell, Ken Oberkfell from the Braves. Oh, ho, ho, ho. 
Oh, yeah. Kirby Puckett. In great condition, too. A little off-centered. Yeah, it's off-centered a little bit. But 1986 Tops Kirby Puckett, which I did not have from my PC. Look at that. Kirby Puckett. Um, Jason Thompson. Uh, Robin Yant. And Bruce Benedict. All right, next, next, next group. Yeah, be careful here, real, real careful. This is one of the reasons why I got this because of uh, Roger Clemens was on the top. So here we go. Let me organize real quick. All right, we got Mr. Roger Clemens here. Real nice card. Looks pretty good. Probably get like a nine on it, nine or a ten. No, 10, I don't think a 10 because it's kind of faded on the top. But it's all right. I'll take an 8 or a 9 on that card. Roger Clemens really liked that card. Ron Brandley. Oh, Jose De Leon, Mr. Dave Winfield. Mr. Mustache. Dave Winfield. Real. That guy was a big guy, man. <laughs> that guy came up to a play. That guy was huge. Uh, standing tall. Steve Lyons. Red Sox. Uh, we got here Ed Lynch. Oh, Donnie Baseball. Yeah. I hit a Don Manley. That's awesome. Uh, I don't care about the center. Well, I mean, it would be nice if it was centered, but still, this is a nice card. Mr. Don Manley. Here you go, sir. You're up there. I'll put you up there real quick so everyone can see. I'll, miss, oh, I'll just put you right here, Don Manley. Make sure nothing happens to you. i got to put you in a... In the top loader real quick. Bobby Cox, manager for the Blue Jays. Tippy Martinez. Oh, another one I used to love watching when I was a kid playing for the Dodgers. Pedro Guerrero. Man, this guy was awesome. I used to love this guy. Where's this guy originally from? I think he's, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think he is from the DR. Yes, uh, San Pedro de Mar Corris, the DR. 5'11", 176. Man, this guy, I used to watch this guy when I was a kid. Pedro Guerrero. So he's he's going to my PC. I can dig Pedro. Checklist. Cal Ripken. Woohoo! Wow, man. I'm glad I jumped on this uh this this pack. We got some good cards here. Cal Ripken. The Iron Man. I'll take it. Mr. Cal Ripken. Ryan Smith. Gorman Thomas. Uh David Green with the Giants. Never heard of him. Randy Hunt. Cardinals. And we got the last but not least here. Let's see what we got. The last, the last few cards here. All right. Uh, Ruber Jones. Bill Swift. Uh, Rick Langford. John Shelby. We got an 85 record breaker. Vince Coleman. Most stolen bases in a season for a rookie. 1985, Vince Coleman, record breaker. Okay, that's staying over here. Uh, Chuck Porter. Checklist. George Frazier. Oh, an all-star of Dale Murphy. Nice, Dale Murphy all-star. I'll take it. Harold Reynolds, yes. Nice card. Uh, Harold Reynolds. Now, I think he might he might get inducted pretty soon. That's an HOF player right there, so future HOF player, so I'm keeping that one. Bo Diaz, uh, Brent Gaff, Billy Martin, manager for the Yankees back in the days. Mr. Billy Martin, this is for the wifey, for her PC, because she collects Yankees. Then we got Jock Cottier. Uh, wow, I remember this guy. Uh, <laughs> Dan Quisenberry, All-Star. Dan Quisenberry, All-Star. We'll put him here with Murphy. And Mike Eastler, and last we hit Dan Dreesen or Dreisen. Dan Dreisen with the Giants. Not bad, folks, for for that uh that rack pack there. Not bad for that. All right, let's see. These are the uh the gems. These are the hidden gems that that we got. So you gotta be a little extra careful with the tape. But they packed it pretty good. So here we go. This is what I, what I ordered, folks. Here we go. And I did. They did a good job. They put them in the card savers already, so that saves me some 
Some stuff. Uh, I got 1980 tops, Ricky Henderson. Car looks like it's in amazing shape. So we got, I'm going to send that so it's ready to go for PSA. So we got Ricky Henderson, 1980 tops. Then we got this mantle refractor. I saw this. I don't have mantle cards. Uh, and I'm going to start trying to get what I can so I can grow him as well as my PC. I really respect this this baseball player, best switch hitter in the game. Mickey Mantle, look at that card. That's just beautiful. Let me see what year that card is. Um, looks like it's a 2000, uh, 2006. Can't really see. I got to get my glasses. Um, 2006, I think, tops. But I just like the card, the color, and the way it reflects. So I, I, put, I picked that one up. I also got this one. He also had this one for uh, an auction. Uh, 350 home run uh, special card of Mickey Mantle. You see, it's a top. It looks like it's Topps Chrome. This is Topps Chrome. I I saw that card. I wanted to get it too as well. This is the backside. Mickey Mantle home run history. So he hit uh, number three hundred and fifty home run on July thirteenth, nineteen sixty one. He hit his three hundred and fiftieth home run. It was at Comiskey Park against the Chicago White Sox in the first inning. The pitcher was early win. Was the pitcher? There was no man on base. And he hit it from the left side. He batted left on that one. And I just noticed, I didn't even notice this, but it's a numbered card too. It's number 194 out of 500, folks. I did not even notice that. And when I just I just like loved the card and went for it. Look at that. Number 104 of 500 of Mickey Mantle, uh, three, 350th home run. Uh, I don't know, I guess a reminisce card. Is that what you call it? I got this Emmett Smith. Um, I really like this Emmett Smith. I think I don't know. I think it's this rookie trade. Yeah, it's the Topps traded rookie. So I saw the car was in excellent condition, and just amazing cars, man. From from this uh, person on eBay. Um, what's the name of the the? Uh, I think it's called. Uh, I forgot the name of the store, but uh, it's from Erica Richardson. So nice collection. Um, Emmett Smith, great card, beautiful card. Then I got Dan Dan Deerdorf. Uh, you know, we all know him, famous broadcaster. Also played football, guard for the Cardinals back then. So I had to get this card. It's 1973 tops. Uh, I wanted this one for my uh, football vintage PC that I have. I wanted to add him to it, to the to the collection. And of course, high knees. Uh, when I coach my kids out there, uh, one of the drills, one of the warm-ups we run is called high knees. And that's all due to Mr. Roger Craig. Mr. High Knees, Roger Craig, used to run the ball with his knees high. Watch some highlight film of him and you'll see what I'm talking about. But the, the drill is named after him. High Knees, Roger Craig, uh, rookie card, uh, 1984 tops. So I had to get that one also. And I got also this guy, Johnny U. Woo! My first Johnny U card. I was I needed to get one. Uh, Mr. Johnny Unitas here with the Chargers. That's just a beautiful card. Look at that picture. He's got, got the football already in his hands. Uh, I love that picture. He's got the cloud in the background. Not light blue skies. Great day for football. Uh, 1974. Uh, tops, Johnny U. Look at that condition. Beautiful condition. So that's going to PSA for sure. Then we got, I wanted to get an um, uh, Archie Manning card as well. Um, yeah, I saw it. I had to get it. Uh, you know, uh, Peter Manning and Eli Manning's dad. He started it all. Um, so I wanted to actually, I wanted to add this to my set, um, collect quarterbacks, vintage. I'm real big on that. So I need to have him in the set, uh, in my PC. And then I, of course, you know, me being a Dolphins fan, I saw he had a Bob Greasy and I didn't have a Bob Greasy. So I had to add Bob Greasy to the, to, to the vintage PC set, um, a binder there. So, you know, all my cards are raw. Like I said, and little by little, I'll go sending them into PSA to get graded. Cause I just want to keep them in. Nothing happens to them, you know. My dog gets to it or something. So just to avoid all that, uh, anything happening to the cards. And plus, they look cool when they're encapsulated. I think it looks they look really awesome when they're slabbed. And then it gives you a little brief description on the top. Tells you what card, grade it is. Tells you, to, you know, it's a real card. You know, it lets everybody know it's, it's, uh, it's an authentic card. So here you go, Bob Greasy. So some great cards, folks. And then I got this. I saw this Frank Targeton as well. 
All-Pro quarterback for the Vikings, Mr. Frank Tarkenton, 74 tops as well. Had to get that card. And then and then I got uh, wide receiver Bobby Hayes from the Cowboys. Mr. Bob Hayes. Just love the picture. Uh, this guy was a great wide receiver back, back in the days for the Cowboys. And uh, this guy got the sideburns. <laughs> it's got the sideburns. Just a great card. Holding the football correctly underneath the, underneath the armpit. Hand over the nose, carrying it, you know, taking care of it like it's your baby. That's what I tell the kids. But you got to protect that ball like it's your baby. Uh, there we go. Name Bob Hayes from the Cowboys. And that's that's all we got for the mail, folks. Thank you for uh, watching. Uh, I'll do a little quick recap. I'll go off video now and organize this and give you a quick recap. But I appreciate the support. And, and I'll be back. All right, folks, I'm back. Just uh, I wanted to organize, put some of the cards in the top loaders that didn't have top loaders that weren't protected and then i also you know organized it a bit so i can give you a quick recap of my first mail bin or first mail uh orders that i got in the mail uh we had gotten an elite code uh that had two cards inside one penny sleeve inside one top loader i i just don't understand that concept but anyways this was the card that we couldn't uh catch at the beginning that was behind the piazza i think and it's a uh, it's a refractor elite refractor of Odell Beckham Jr. It's numbered uh, number two sixty five out of two ninety nine, two sixty five out of two ninety nine. New York Giants Odell Beckham Jr. I think he's gonna have a comeback season. That's Mr. Jr. right there, Odell Beckham. Then we have um, Alvin Kamara. You guys saw this one numbered. Uh, uh, it's actually number. 68 out of 299. That's the correct number. 68 out of 299. Alvin Kamara with the New Orleans Saints. Great runner. It's going to be a great uh, runner. It's going to turn out to be a good runner. Um, then we got Bobby Hayes, 74 tops. Wide receiver for the Cowboys. Bobby Hayes. Uh, then we got Frank Targeton, all pro quarterback from the Vikings. Frank Targeton is also 74 tops. I wanted to get this card. It was a real nice card. Good shape. So, Mr. Frank Tarkenton. And we got Archie Manning. Quarterback for the Saints. Father of Peyton and Eli Manning. That started it all. I think he looks a little bit more like uh, like Eli. I think Eli looks a little bit more like his dad. So, I wanted to get this card for my collection. So, I had to add it. And go. Then we got Bob Greasy. Number 12 for the Dolphins, Mr. Bob Greasy. And you know his son, Brian Greasy, also played in the NFL. So I had to get him. Uh, then we got Johnny U, Johnny Unitas. My first Johnny Unitas uh, card in my PC. Great condition, 74 tops. So I had to put him in the collection for sure. Then uh, just like, just want to get Dan Deardorff. Um, it's a great broadcaster for all for Monday Night Football. That was awesome. Um, so wanted to get one of his cards, and this is a seventy-three tops, seventy-three tops on this one. So Johnny U seventy-four, then Do Your North seventy-three. Nice card. I don't know yet if he's a Hall of Famer. Um, if, he, if he's going to be a Hall of Famer, if he is. Consider, I don't know, I got to look up his stats. I want to do some homework on him too as well, Dan Dierdorf. But if you guys know anything about him, uh, feel free to comment below. So it saves me some time. Uh, Emma Smith, rookie card, tops traded. I had to get it. Just a real nice card. Taking the one knee. It's got the one knee. Um, this, guy wor this guy, one of his uh, regiments for working out, folks, was sit-ups and push-ups. Strictly sit-ups and push-ups back in the days. That's that's how he gained his strength. Uh, for, and look, he's originally born in Pensacola, Florida. So he's originally from Florida. That's awesome. I didn't know that. I know he played for UF, but I didn't know he was originally born in Pensacola, Florida. That's awesome. Emmett Smith, rookie card right there. Then we got Roger Craig, rookie card, in 84 tops. Mr. High Knees, 33, Roger Craig. Opened up the passing game for Jerry and Joe. Uh, Rodgers' rookie season of 1983 was highlighted by a 71-yard run from scrimmage for the 49ers. Holy Toledo. 
He finished his Nebraska career as school's fourth all-time rusher with 2,446 yards, sixth in touchdown with 26, and eighth with 158 points as a collision. Uh, Roger had a horizontal jump of 9 feet 8 inches at Nebraska. So there you go, folks. Mr. High Knees. It's one of the drills I run with, with my kids. All right, then we got the 92 Mike Piazza Classic Best. You guys have seen that. Real nice car, beautiful card of his with the San Antonio Missions, minor league team for the Dodgers. Just a real nice card. I had to, I had to have it. I had to get it. It was a must. Just like American Express. Don't leave home without it. Uh, Don Manley, the Yankees. I hit this in that 86, Tops 86 rack pack that I picked up. So this was pretty cool. First major league home run for Donnie Baseball was June 24th, 1983. His his first inside the park home run was May 5th, 1984. That's awesome. That's a great uh great fact there of Donnie Baseball, Mr. Don Manley. One of my favorite players growing up, watching play him, Strawberry. All right, and you got Orioles, Iron Man, Cal Ripken, of course. We hit that. Any facts back here? His first major league Grand Slam was September 14th, 1982. First major league Grand Slam for Iron Man, Cal Ripken. So, I mean, that was a great rack pack. You got some good cards there. Of course, Pedro Guerrero. I mean, I uh, grew up a Dodgers fan, saw him play. Let's see what, what facts they got here of Pedro Guerrero. He collected first major league hit, 922-78. His first two home run major league game was 5-9, 1981. His first four hit major league game was May 20th, 1981. And his first major league grand slam was June 28th, 1983. I was in third grade, folks, <laughs> in 1983. So it kind of gives you my age. Pedro Guerrero. I got a couple got a couple of his cards in my PC, but I didn't have the uh I didn't have the 86 top. So that that for me is a hidden gem for me. Uh to hit him in that, that 86 tops rack pack. Then we got Harold Reynolds. Really liked how he played too as well. Harold made his first major league debut 9 September 2nd, 1983. He laced first major league double September 5th, 1983. He drilled his first major league triple. September 5th, 1983, and logged his first big league stolen base, September 19th, 1984. Harold Reynolds. Is this his uh, rookie card? Oh, no. His, uh looks like it's back in the 83. 83. All right. Got to get a look of rookie card for Harold Reynolds. Got to add him. And we got Kirby Puckett. Kirby Puckett. Mr. Minnesota Twins. Mr. Puckett. First major league home run. April 22nd, 1985. Kirby, this guy used to rock the ball, man. When I would see him hit the home runs, those, those balls would travel. He used to rock the ball. Dead center, too. All right, then we got Roger Clemens. Mr. Roger Clemens for the Red Sox. Great pitcher. He earned his first major league win May 20th, 1984. I was in fourth grade. Uh, recorded first major league shutout July 26th, 1984. So there you go, folks. Roger Clemens, 1986 tops. Real nice card of his. And one of my favorite cards that everybody likes to have in their PC is the 1980 Ricky Henderson tops. Great card to have in your PC. If you enjoy Ricky Henderson, the, the centering is amazing. From the left to the f yeah left, right, it's amazing. His sacrifice fly. Capped a three-run eighth-inning rally as A's came from behind to defeat Orioles July 10, 1979. His fourth-inning single accounted for A's lone safety of contest and 2-0 loss to Yankees July 8, 1979. Some facts there for about Ricky Henderson in one of his games. Guy was a was a speed, uh, maybe like, um, what's the name of that little mouse? Uh, Speedy Gonzalez. <laughs> there you go. That's how fast he was. Like Speedy Gonzalez, all right? Then we got um, Mickey Mantle, uh, Tops. I think it's 2000, 2006, uh, Tops. It looks like it's an insert card. Um, I just got it. I thought it was pretty awesome. It looked amazing. It's, got, it's a reprint from, I guess, from his uh, uh, the 52 Tops rookie card. 
So I just want, you know, I like the colors. I mean, it'll be awesome to have the original, the original 52, but Mickey Mantle, I gotta have something of Mickey Mantle in my, in my, uh, my collection, my PC. So I thought I got this card. It's pretty nice. Wasn't a bad price either. And then here's the other one, the 350, uh, home run, uh, card. That's also numbered, which I wasn't aware until I, uh, looked. It's a 194 out of 500. So this is his, uh, 350 home run card dedication. And then, of course, my second slabbed card for my collection. The first one, if you guys seen my previous videos, is Daryl Strawberry, 84 Fleer Rookie in a 10 Mint. And then here's the Dwayne Wade Rookie card with tops in a 10 Mint that I picked up on an auction on eBay. Just had to get it. He's a local hero. Everybody loves him here in the Miami. So why not? Thank you for watching, folks. Please subscribe. Hit that like button. And I really appreciate all your support. Another video from Hidden Gem. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Hidden Gem. Over now.